Good evening. I was rummaging through the attic the other evening, looking as it happened for a clean simmet. <laughs> and I came across an old trunk containing some mementos of my youth, an old knuckle duster, a bicycle chain, and a wee parcel containing a silk stocking, a suspender belt, and a pair of those awful light blue Selenese knickers. <laughs> Oh, don't go getting the wrong idea. They were just the trophies of an entirely innocent game of strip poker. <laughs> they belonged to a wee lassie by the name of Ivy McMenemy. I'll never forget Ivy. She had the biggest set of dentures <laughs> I think I've ever seen. She still lives and works in the parish. If you'd like to meet her, just go into the co-op drapery department and ask for Jaws McMenemy. <laughs> now, you may wonder why I've been browsing in the past like this. Well, the truth is, this will be my last, last call. Last Sunday, after 25 years, I preached my last sermon at St. Bertie's East Parish Church. <laughs> It was an extremely moving occasion. They only gave me 24 hours to get out of the mass. <laughs> and what, you may ask, was the beautiful parting gift from my loving congregation? Damn all. <laughs> Not a sausage. <laughs> No gold watch, no chromium-plated toaster, no even a butter dish. And it's not as if I didn't give them every opportunity at the service on Sunday. I started off in most complimentary fashion with hymn number 206, Glorious Things of Thee Are Spoken. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> then I thought a wee reminder that I was leaving, so then we went with hymn 279, The Radiant Morn Has Passed Away. Still nothing. So I thought, right, and changed the mood with him 122. The strife is o'er, the battle done. <laughs> it was at this point that Mrs. Boucher, forever troubled with the wind, let out a rift that nearly unseated the order. <laughs> so in we came with an inspired ad lib. Hymn number 680, we have heard a joyful sound. <laughs> anyway, by this time I thought they maybe needed a wee nudge about a wee parting gift to the retiring minister, so we quickly swung into hymn number 491. Almighty Father, who dost give? <laughs> Followed immediately by hymn 507, I'm not afraid to own my law. And that's when they all suddenly stood up and sang hymn number 254, All things are thine, no gift have we. <laughs> and then, as it happened, old Warty Face, the session clerk, of course, he never knew I called him old Warty Face. You know now, yeah. <laughs> He handed in a bottle of cherry brandy, so I thanked him for his gift of fruit and the spirit in which it was given. <laughs> you know, I couldn't help thinking back on some of the people I'd met during my 25 years at St. Bertie's. There was the lovely Mrs. Atkins, whose husband died and left her all that money. There was the Michael Whams with 15 children and bewildered expressions. <laughs> so little food the canary used to lock his cage from the inside. <laughs> and there was the lovely Mrs. Atkins. And there was old Baldy Ballantyne, the organist, who wrote that lovely song about a little yellow bird that lost its way. You may have heard it. It's called Auntie Mary Had a Canary. <laughs> Then there was the lovely Mrs. Atkins. 
<laughs> and there was old Tom Caldwell, who grew the biggest marrow in the parish. And one night, during a severe and unexpected frost, he was staggering home blind drunk after Bible class. <laughs> he took a shortcut through his allotment, tripped over his runner beans and fell spread eagle. And that's where we found him in the morning, frozen to the marrow. <laughs> Now it's all over. Tomorrow I leave for Mallorca with a lovely Mrs. Zack. <laughs> and to all my friends and colleagues at St. Bertie's East Parish Church, I would just like to say, God bless you and 